Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were, well, we were in Vault 11, uh, searching for parts and also figuring out the story behind what happened here, and it's not pretty. What we've been able to glean, it's not pretty. So, I'm just gonna continue on and uh, see what more we can find. I decided to switch to a melee weapon because, well, I have plenty of ability to use that and there's not really any dangerous enemies here, just a uh, couple rats and mantises. So I figured I might as well use something a little more close quarters since it's a little easier to use and uh, less deadly to me to use that. Anyway, all right. Uh, you're dead? You are very dead. Oh, hi there. Fuck you. How I managed to sneak up on you is beyond me, especially since I have the fucking Pip-Boy light on, but I will take it. <laughs> Yeesh. That was so easy. How did that work? Also, how are the rats dead? Did the mantises kill them? It's the only thing I can come up with. But it begs the question... How and why? Huh. Yeah, well, anyway. Let's just continue searching for little bits of the story. Oh, my voice decided to crack right then and there. Oopsie doodle. Ha. Huh. Okay, well, I'll grab these. Might as well. Even though I don't think they're going to be useful in the coming days. Where are we at? Where are we going? Uh, admin. Let's go to the admin. Oh, hi there. Hi there. <laughs> You just let me sneak up on you. I was right next to you with the fucking Pip-Boy line on. I have to make sure... Yeah, I had the Pip-Boy line on the entire time. How did you not notice me fucking sneaking up on you to your left? Eh, that, that's, that's on you. That's on you. Y'all being dead, that's on you. Alright, let's see if I can get into here. Without having to use the computer. Ah, dicks. Okay, well... Strike one. Okay. Ah, shit. Come on. There we go. Can I still use the terminal anyway? I can. Any opportunity to get XP, you might as well take it. Animalistic is not correct. Damn it. Uh, containment. Shit. <laughs> that was easy. Easy guesses. Disengage lock. That's going to help. I already disengaged the lock with my pins, thank you. I don't really need much else. I'm sorry, is that a mini-nuke in the middle of a fucking vault? Why the fuck would you put a mini-nuke in the middle of a vault? Like, y you know that someone's going to be tempted to try and use it, right? I mean, value be damned, but... <laughs> that's, that's a... That's a little, uh... A little not thinking forward. Anyway. Missiles, they're kind of valuable, but are they worth the wait? I, I guess so. I guess if you really want to get down to it, yes they are. Um, pulse mines, five of them? Nah. Nah. Nah, they're not. That's not worth it. Wow. 25 millimeter grenades just sitting there like it's nothing. Jeez. Jeez, this vault was fucking packed to the brim with shit. Why? Why would you do that? What did you expect on the outside world? Or inside the vault, if anything? Yeah, I don't need those. Eh, I might as well take them, but... Give me a moment. I had to clear my throat. I apologize. I might or might not remember to cut that out. <laughs> Anywho. Um... Value-wise, are kind of not worth picking up. Eh, fuck it. Fuck it, and I might as well. Alright. Now. Well, that explains why uh, this was locked. Locked pretty hard. Anything else? Anything over here? Just lockers? Oh, hi there. Just sitting back here around whiskey. Not that I'm complaining, but why? 
Why were you around whiskey? Like, that was nothing. Come on, let me just grab the whiskey. Damn it all. Get away from the whiskey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Ew. Ew, gross. Things I have to do to get to whiskey. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab this now. Uh, let's grab the clipboard, too. Why not? I can make duct tape out of that when I'm back at the sink. It's always a good idea. Let's see what... Oh, well, let's get on the chair, shall we? On the chair. On the fucking chair, you whore. There we go. Thank you. Why I called my... Why I called myself a whore, I have no idea. But fuck it. Security terminal. Deposition. Excerpt from the deposition of the defendant Catherine Stone by Vault Attorney Gerard Miles. Gerard. That's a name. Okay. I, I, I rarely see anyone with Gerard nowadays. That's like... Usually 30s or 40s nowadays. At least uh, in my mind. Anyway, let's pick up where we left off, Kate. Catherine. Sorry. Right. Catherine. I keep forgetting. My husband calls me Kate. You were telling us of a discussion you allegedly had with Roy Gottlieb of the Justice Block. Not allegedly. Had. We've been through this. It's still just your word against his, Miss Stone. But please, the discussion. <sighs> he said my husband's name had come up in their meetings. The candidate endorsement meetings? Yes, they were going to endorse him. He wouldn't say why, but I know my husband had a regular poker game with some of them, and he'd been on a winning streak lately. And according to you, what did Mr. Gottlieb offer? He said he would sway his block. He said he could sway his block, prevent the endorsement, but only if I... Only if you what, Catherine? Only if I... Only if you perform sexual favors. Yes. Wow. That is scummy in the worst sense. Holy fuck. That what? Oh, no. It gets worse. Was this all just for Mr. Gottlieb? No, all of the block leadership. They're friends. And you agreed. What else could I do? They had the majority. How long did this go on before the endorsements came out? I don't know. A month, maybe. And when they came out and your husband was endorsed despite your supposed agreement, was that when you decided to kill members of the block? Ooh. You go, girl! Shit! Surprised you didn't do it sooner. <laughs> yes, I thought their majority is pretty slim. If I thinned things out a little, especially in the leadership, someone else might get elected. Assuming you weren't caught. No, Mr. Miles, I expected to be caught. That was my best chance. Now they'll elect me. A confessed murderer. You think voters will be willing to risk putting you in charge? They have to pick somebody and live with their reasons. Yes, but wait and see. And, uh, that looked like they did do that. If that one, uh, what was it? Notice of postponement. Nope. It was Overseer Order 745. Whoops. Come on. Yep, she did get elected Overseer. So, apparently, the overseer position is very much not wanted, because something happens at some point. Catherine expected to eventually get to overseer because she killed a lot of the justice block, justifiably, might I add, and then changed how the whole procedures run through it through being overseer. Huh. The only thing we don't know is why would no one want to be overseer? That is odd. Still odd. Still grabbing stuff even though I probably don't need it. In fact, I know I don't need it. But nonetheless, I'm still grabbing it. Because why not? I have the ability to grab it. Uh... Yeah, might as well. Come on. Buttons work with me here. And microfusion. Nah, I don't need those. There's a limit on some of the things I'll grab. But, whoa. I didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Um. Oh, pre-war money. Always take that. Always. Always. Okay. And take these. And take whatever's in here. Nothing good. Okay. We're fine now. Let's get out of here. Alright. Um, 
sensor modules. Might as well grab these while I'm here. Why not? All right. Is there anything decent here? Bottle cap. It's a single bottle cap, but bottle caps, bottle caps. Motherfucker. Okay. What is down here? Lower level. Oh, shit. I wasn't trying to leave this area early. There's still things to get to. And murder. Mainly murder. Okay. So we go this way, I guess. To the mail dorm. Alright. Hi there! Fuck you. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. Jeez. There we go. I missed. How did I miss? Uh, nice job. <laughs> nice job, Veronica. Thank you. And we got some stuff in here. Well, not really searchable stuff, but stuff. And here. What is this? Small burn book. This must have been a common room dorm or whatever. Huh. So there's a computer in here. Personal terminal. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Someone had some pull to get their own. Uh, two out of five. Damn it. Um, tires? Eh? Maybe T and E. Timer wouldn't work because that also has an I, which didn't count. Balls. I don't see any other ones, though. Maybe... Farms. No. No, that didn't work. I figured it would give me a shot, because... Taken had two. Tires had two. But I'm not seeing anything other than timer. Huh. That one clearly wasn't going to work. What about jokes? Hey, okay. That worked. All right. Security recording. Uh-oh. Download complete. Uh-oh. I have to go into my pit boy for that, huh? Justice block HQ holotapes. Oh, was this the HQ? She can't do this. It's done. We're done. Nothing's done. She's got the authority. The only thing she can't do is change her own fate. Nothing says she can't change the selection process for future overseers. I say she can't. You shouldn't have toyed with her like that, Roy. We still have the majority. We don't vote for anything anymore. I'm not talking about voting. What then? You want to have a sit-in? A hunger strike? Not exactly. Maybe march into her office with torches and pitchforks? Yes. Come on. I mean it. What? Start a revolution? Laws don't outlast their governments. Roy, all we have to do is wait until someone from Justice Block gets picked for Overseer. Then we have them change the law back. There won't be any blocks after the new Overseer is picked tomorrow. Everyone's going to move on. By the time we've reformed, who knows if we'll still be in the majority? We can hold the block together. You don't know that. Besides, what if the computer picks you? What if it picks me? And your solution is to start shooting? Not if we don't have to. Look, we arm up. We go to the lower floors, take some strategic targets. Power, food, water. Just until she turns authority over to us. The other blocks won't support it. They're tired of us having the power. We have the majority. We don't need them. This isn't a vote, Roy. They'll fight back. They've never had the nerve. Hell of a way to test it. Huh. So Justice Block apparently did not like having the tables turned on them, even though it's their fault that the whole thing happened in the first place. Apparently Roy was the main person, uh, I guess Roy Gottlieb is that person, um, so 
they really didn't like having the tables turn on them, so they tried a, uh, they tried something to get back at her, possibly. And did it fail or not? It's yet to be seen. Apparently it's in the lower levels where we'll find a uh, answer to that, so we'll have to go down there eventually. But for right now, it looks like they tried to plan a coup since they did have the uh, body majority. But that doesn't mean that the rest of the uh, blocks were going to go along with it. And... Roy does not seem to understand that just because they have a body majority does not mean they have the upper hand. And... I don't see... I don't see how that worked out well for them. Honestly, I don't think it did. There's no way it could have. <clears throat> so, let's just continue on. Vault 11 jumpsuits, huh? I might, I might pick one of those up. I might pick one of those up, just as a keepsake for the shenanigans that happened here. So why not? Let's see, is there anything else? Anything else I can pick up while I'm in here? Doesn't look particularly like it. Oh, okay. What's in here? Bottle caps! I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. I will absolutely take that. Whoop. Up we go. Put locker. Lockers. Only some of them have something. Whoop. Leather armor. Surprising find down here. Yeah, I guess that's fine. A little odd, but nonetheless, something. Did I ever? I did not go into the female dorms. Probably should. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Done with that, though. Oh, hey, hi there. Whoop, you're gone. Alright. So, let's see. Coffee mug. Get one for Muggy. Why not? Whoops. Didn't even see if that was empty or not before I pushed that button. Push. I can't fucking talk either. Ooh, what's in the foot locker? Bottle caps. I'll take it. I will take any bottle caps I can find, even though it's a little weird to be finding them in the fucking vault that is dilapidated and dead. Pretty much. Pretty much dead. Um, a Braxo cleaner, that's kind of worthless to me. At least in this version of the game. Baseball glove. Alright. Let's see. Anything in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, nothing. Nothing too. Oh, maybe that wrench would be useful. That wonder glue. Uh, anything in that toolbox? Ooh. Scrap metal. I'll take that. I'll take that. For damn sure. Anything over here? Anything particularly useful? Not really. From the look of it. Huh. I feel like I was already through here. Because I was, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Huh. Yeah, I think I was through here. Huh. Went from male dorm to female dorm real quick. A little odd, but alright. Not that much separating the dorms. Am I in here? I'm going to go back up the way I came. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, so... Anything else? Oh, I almost missed this. That would be bad. That'd be real bad. Anything good here? Oh, jeez. Uh, no. Nothing too good. I came from there, so... Just that, anyway. Let's go down to the lower levels now. Now that that's an option. Wait, Overseer's Office. Hey, Overseer's Office is in the lower levels? Why would that be in the lower levels? Usually it's in the upper. Odd design. I did go through security, right? Yeah, that was all of that. Okay. Let's go down to the lower levels then. See 
see what that's about. Drink my coffee in the meantime. Faster than I thought. All right. <laughs> Onward we go. Whoa. The fuck was that? Oh, jeez. Ooh. Right on the face. Yeah, you did. What the fuck blew up? Whoa! The shit. Disarmed a shotgun. Jesus. Okay. Well, some things happened. Some things happened around here. Free war money. Okay. Makes sense that they'd keep a pile of it in the overseer's office. Suitcase. Nothing. Okay. Overseer's terminal requires a key. Alright. So the lower levels seem pretty booby trapped. Yeah! The explodins kinda make me think it's a little booby trapped. What in the fuck? I'm assuming that's all the rats and whatnot setting those off, but Jesus. I just noticed there's a significantly lower number of fucking enemy pips on the radar. Which confirms my suspicions that they're setting off the traps and dying to them. Oh, hi there. You're dead now. Okay, well. Ha. Huh. It's gonna be a thing and a half, isn't it? Atrium. Alright. Well, hi there. Oh! Animal Control Perk 3. Didn't expect that. What is this? Utility. Oh. What is Oh, boy. I was trying to decipher what the hell that trap was for. And, uh, and I got snuck up on there. Looked like the trap was already engaged, though, before I hit the uh, wires there. What are you guys fucking having a moment for? Ow! Ow! Didn't expect that to actually still hurt. Huh. So, something... Something went on here. Something clearly went on. Looks like they might have done what they uh, talked about doing. Flamer fuel got five, five, six rounds and ten millimeter rounds. Okay, everyone's running around now. Could you guys stop it? Jesus, for fuck's sake! You're setting off every trap within the fucking area. Jeez, that was clearly this trap. God damn. You two okay? No, of course not. You two are fucking broken now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's heal you up. Alright. How about you? Stimpak shouldn't really work on you, but I guess they do. And is it slow? Overtime? Sort of thing? It looks like it. Uh, just to confirm, yep, it is a slow overtime thing. Just like me. That's a little annoying. Especially since Eddie seems to be the most damaged out of all of us. There we go. That should be enough. Alright, well. This place is a booby-trapped hellhole, because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Especially since they uh, kind of said they were going to take the lower levels. I'm not really surprised that they managed to do it. But at the same time, I'm kind of surprised that they managed to booby-trap the whole place to boot. Jeez, I have a lot of stim packs. I might as well just use them. 
do some all on fixing these guys up, because Jesus. They are going to run over every trap that I do not run into. Ah, jeez. Alright. Question is, did they technically succeed or did they end up failing? After realizing what they... Realizing what they were supposed to do. Oh. Oh. That's flooded. Because apparently there was something they were supposed to do that they weren't doing until near the end. Question is... Oh boy. That's radiationed up to hell, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Alright. Oh, jeez. Wait, don't I have that rebreather? That rebreather from the, uh, boomers? Don't I still have that? I do. I do. Oh, this is going to be a lot easier going down there. That's for sure. Although I'm going to have to ask these guys to stay up here, because Jesus Christ. The amount of traps you people walk into, I swear to God. The amount of times you should be dead. Especially you, Eddie. Jesus, fuck. How are you still not healed up? For fuck's sake, man. Are you healed yet? God. Okay. I'm just gonna end the episode here for right now, and I'll search the, uh, fucking watery tomb area, whatever the fuck is going on down there, in the next episode. And then maybe we'll find out what the fuck happened here. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and figuring out what the fuck happened in Vault 11 while my companions consistently run over traps and blow themselves up. Because why the fuck not, I guess. They aren't getting beat up any other way for you.